With classes beginning tomorrow, there are growing concerns about making sure students have the resources that they need. NBC4's Carissa Diagostino spoke with organizations that are teaming up with the city to help support students during this ongoing strike. A lot of support coming from different places, right, Carissa? Exactly, Colleen. Lots of support, including resources, Wi-Fi, and supporting these students as they head back to online learning tomorrow. But one thing they're not doing is replacing teachers or the classroom. We are not teachers at the library, and nor could we ever replace quality, dedicated teachers. I think we really cannot um, overstate the importance of our young people being in a safe space with adults they trust and we we know that our students um, are ready to go back to school uh, they miss their teachers they want to engage with their teachers so in no way are we trying to supplant what the teachers are doing supporting columbus city school students as they begin school in an all too familiar way online this is the goal of student support center set up across columbus we will be staffing with our youth development professionals so uh, trained staff um, and then city year is providing some additional supports as well so we have some bodies in here to uh, keep an eye on kids. YMCA, Boys and Girls Club, and Columbus Metropolitan Library locations are prepared to be a resource for CCS students during this time of online learning. But more importantly, they can be a safe environment to learn for students who need it. And we also have to make sure that they're off the streets so they don't uh, end up uh, falling victim to crime or violence or even death, unfortunately. Another vital part of this support is making sure students are fed, something the Boys and Girls Club is prepared to do. Back to the academic um, part of this is you can't can't learn when you're hungry, right? Um, and we also bond over meals. So it's, it's a place for us to really connect with our kids. So how do you or your students access these spaces? Well, if you're headed to the Columbus Metropolitan Libraries, it's simple. All you're going to need is a library card, which is free to the public. Now, if you're heading to the YMCA, they have four locations available to you for these community spaces. However, if your child is under the age of 12, they will need to be accompanied by an adult. And for the Boys and Girls Club locations, they are offering it first to their members, and then they will offer it to the general public. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Carissa Diagostino, NBC4.